Hello everyone. This is take two of the Ice Games tutorial. I realized I had forgotten a couple things in the last one, so I wanted to make sure that I uh, got those done this time. So the main thing you need is some sort of speed boost. Um, the Chronoscope guild buff is enough a oops, speed item is enough expeditious retreat may be enough haste certainly is in most cases the fear island pendant of time is a good one anything that will boost your uh, running speed to 30 percent or above is pretty necessary um, the other major component is your skills you need your jump, preferably 40 to 42, which is cap. Uh, 30s might work. Your mileage may vary depending on exactly everything else. And you need your ice skates. What you do not need is Featherfall. Another handy thing you can use is any of the Abundant Step, Wings, Propulsion Boots, any of that stuff that let you uh, go really fast straight out in the air for a short amount of time. But any character can do the jumps. Uh, you just need a little bit of buffing or you need to be up in epics and have uh, that stuff covered. Again, it's really just your speed and your jump. So I'm going to go ahead and start from the top this time. We'll see how this goes. That uh, doesn't look good. You can jump out to the right here to get those... Oh, I actually got a blue. White coins. Um, sometimes you can fall through the blues. But that is one way to do it. You can jump from that jump up there. And again, this is the harbor. The main area where you come in at first from Corthos. But the easiest way is to jump onto this boathouse here, and that blue that I already got is sitting right out there. You can jump out that way and get that blue really quickly, easily. Um, even if you have a lower jump or lower run speed, you can usually get that. But to get the purple, which is, you can see it over there past that mast, that's the purple you're looking for. You have to jump from platform to platform like that person over there is doing. And they missed that one to get that purple. Or if you look at that building over there, you can actually jump straight from there using Abundant Step or something like that to get that purple. Most people tend to use the masts. Um, you can use either the right mast or the left mast here. That person actually got on the right mast. I usually go left. It's just personal preference. There's no real reason to do one over the other. Whatever you can land consistently is the way to go. So let's see how I do there, and I went through it. So you will get a sense of given your jump and uh, movement speed exactly how this goes. You'll want to stop at some point and then fall right in the middle, and I missed completely to short that time. and somebody just hazed me. That's the other nice thing about when there's actually people around, people will buff you. And I went bounced off of it that time. This is my actual first run of the morning, so I haven't practiced before this. Sometimes it does take a couple tries to get it. There we go. And you're more or less being the center of the mast. And again, either mast will work up here. Now your next thing you want to do is jump over to the ramp right here. You want to jump out this way, straight, and then curve around so you get the right angle because you want to go, be going straight down that ramp to hit that ice bit over there for the next part. It is possible to get the white that's hanging right there. Um, whites are pretty worthless most of the time. If you're going for purples, that's all you really need. So I don't worry about that. And then you will get a blue here as well. Now you can, like I just did, jump way too high. And you have to like pull back and make sure you land 
on the platform itself and then it, tuck yourself into the corner. You cannot stop moving when you're up here. So the corners provide you a really good place to stop. In this case, um, I don't need to, but it also gives you a good place to wait for the coins to respawn. You can look out here and see if those coins over there, because you're going to get the blue and the white probably when you jump to the right there. And uh, if those are back, then you could probably get the purple's probably back and you can get that. You can also watch other people jump from here. But you really want to get into this corner and then turn around and start going down this ramp up. Get that blue down this ramp and up. And sometimes you can get all three depending on how you jump, but the purple is the most important, so make sure you get that. And then your run swim speed plus your jump is usually good enough to just hightail it back here, and if you back off a little bit, you can get right up on the ship. It's the fastest way to get back up and ready to go. Um, I'll try one more jump here. see how it goes. That's just right. And again, you, you have to wait for the purple to respawn. Or, if there are multiple instances, switch instances. That's the faster way to do it. Two instances is great. Three instances is awesome. More than that, you probably won't have time to get the purple before it's respawned in one of the other instances. So, But up here, it only says the harbor. If it said one or two, you could change between the one and two or three. And uh, it's a lot faster than waiting for the coins to respawn. So this is what I consider the easiest and most efficient way to go about this. Um, it doesn't it isn't that hard to get some sort of speed boost and some sort of jump boost. I also have these gloves of jump I could use, which will help a little bit. Uh, but that does take my jump way over cap, so it isn't really necessary where I am. But at lower levels, um, anybody can cast jump on you or get a jump clicky or jump potions, whatever it takes to get your jump up there and your speed boost. Um, Expeditious Retreat clickies will work. And then the other key component is the skates. You can see the blue here to the left repopped, which means that blues, the white, the blue, and the purple over here on the right should repop here in a couple seconds. I know I was still talking when, oh, for a little bit after I got that. But that's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for everything to repop before you go again really is disappointing when you forget to do that and you make the jump and there's no purple there to get. Take some practice, but once you get it down, it's not a big deal to get purples. Of course, you do. it does take some time, so there is that component. And usually there's enough purples on Trade Channel or in the auction house where you can get them that way. Although if you're lower level and need cash, Spending an hour or so farming purples is a good way to make some money pretty quickly because a lot of people don't like doing the jumps. So then keep that in mind as well. So there's the blue, there's the white, so the purple should be back. I'll make the jump again in theory. Uh, just missed that blue. Anyway, that's how you jump in the Harbor Rizia Ice Games for the purples. There are other jump points if you want to get just farm blues or whites. As I said, that's not really that productive. One other thing I'll mention is this white right up here is actually really easy to get. If you find yourself not being able to get anything, you just want some sort of coin to farm, you can actually come up here and... Oops, I didn't do it that time. Or you can jump from above and get on that ledge and get that coin. Looks like I might be able to get it from this way. I haven't tried this in a while because, again, like I said, I don't really go after whites. Nope. If I could jump right, we might be able to see if we can get that. Nope. 
can't get it. Looks like maybe it's a jump from above now. In any case, uh, it's the least of your worries if you're going for the purples. That's where the good, re better rewards are, and uh, definitely better platinum for selling them. And this, again, this up here is just too inconsistent to get. I'm going to see where that coin is. Oh, it's the other side. Well, you can feather fall for this one because you don't have a light gravity effect. There you go. So if you just want a coin, this white one, and oh, I got a little boost from light gravity. That's hilarious. And then this blue one here are the easiest ones to get. So thanks for watching. Appreciate any follows on Twitch or here. Subscription, all that fun stuff. And I will see you on my Twitch channel, future videos, DDO stream, and all that in the future. Appreciate you watching. Have a good day.